So for um, number three, they're giving us a variable force of five uh, times x to the negative two pounds, uh, which moves an object along a straight line when it is x feet from the origin. So it is telling us that this variable force, it depends on the distance, right, on the x feet from the origin. And so it is asking us to calculate the work done. So work is equal to um, work is equal to force times distance. However, we can't just multiply force times distance because the force changes. The force is um, a function of distance, right? And so if we think about it being variable, uh, I'm just going to draw a random force. So this here is our x for distance. And on our, uh, uh, here is our f, and it is uh, f as a function of x because it takes in distance as an input to output the force. So if we were to take a random um, variable force that goes like this, we can see that the work is going to be force times distance. So it's going to be base times height, but we can't do base times height because the height is constantly changing, right? So what we have to do here is we have to break down this x-axis into little um, into little dx's, so tiny bits of the x-axis, and then form rectangles, right? And these rectangles, when we add them up, um, each rectangle is going to have a base of a base of distance, so x, and a height of force. So the area of this rectangle is going to be force times distance, which is work, right? Work is force times distance. And so in this case, because our, our um, force is variable, our work is going to be the sum of our force as a function of x times our distance, which is a little dx, right? Which is a little dx. Um, and so when we sum up all these uh, forces times the dx's, we're going to get um, all these rectangles, except that they're going to be infinitely thin rectangles. And um, the whole point here is just to show you how the area beneath the curve, uh, the sum of all these rectangles, is going to give us the work. So uh, with all this being said, we can say that our work is going to be the integral of our force, which is 5x to the negative 2 dx. And then it's asking us to calculate the work done uh, moving it from 1 to 10. So we're doing from 1 to 10. And so this is going to be, um, when we integrate this, it's going to be negative 5 times over x. And then we're going from 1 to, to 10. So we're going to have here um, negative 5 over 10, and then minus negative 5 over 1. And so this is going to be equal to, let's see, negative 5, 10 is going to be negative 1 half, and then minus minus plus 5, so the answer here is going to be 9 halves. And so uh, a 9 half, 9 half, uh, that's not going to be joules, that's going to be uh, joules rather, that's going to be uh, foot pound. Okay. And so this is the amount of work that we do um, to move this variable force from the distance of 1 to the distance of 10. So remember that we're integrating because we're summing up the force times the distance, but then this force, um, it, it is, it's changing, right? And so the way that we sum up something that is changing is through the integral.